Hello everyone, it's your lovely Lotus Blossom Lizzie here today with a plan with me in the personal recollections planner, which is one of my favorites. So what I'm doing here is I am just getting some things together. I'm gathering things that will be going into the planner itself. And before we really get into it, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up if you think it's good, of course, and also subscribe if you like content just like this. I post planner, organization, and lifestyle videos at least three times a week, so you don't want to miss that. So make sure you hit the notification button at the bottom. So what I'm doing right now is kind of just going through the planner and making sure that I have everything that I need for the week. And this is my digital calendar and I'm just putting the date on here so that I'll know which date it is even without opening it up. And I'm also just kind of removing some of the note pages that I made some notes on. Some of them I don't really need. Now I'm going through my store list and I'm just marking off things that I've already purchased. And then I'll also be adding some more things onto that as well. So the Recollections Planner is actually my favorite and I took this one on vacation with me. So it got a little bit beat up. So I would love to hear in the comments from you all, how do you protect your planner from kind of getting beat up? And one good thing about the Recollections Planner is it's inexpensive. So I don't really feel bad that it got beat up. It got well used and I can actually I'll get another one if I need to, but I probably would like to try to save this one and recycle it. So any tips that you have for that as well, put those down in the comments. I would love to hear. So now I'm just moving some things around also in the planner itself. Um, I was writing some notes out and I decided to put like future events, things for the month into the future events which i just had in the back so i know that probably didn't make a lot of sense but i'll probably be doing this from now on and in the setup i may have an insert to go in here also so now i'm going to go ahead and begin on my weekly planning which is of course my favorite part and i've already pre-decorated this particular week with some washi and this is just some graph paper and the washi is used to actually divide up everything so if you haven't seen the setup for the month I actually did all the weeks in the month I went and I put the washi down so that I don't have to do it for my weekly planning which makes it really really quick for me to do so I also hand wrote in the days and after I did it I thought mm, I should have maybe used some stamps but it's not a deal breaker for me my handwriting is pretty poor and I complain about it all the time but I just need to practice on it and stop complaining about it so on Monday I put down that I had to pay bills and then I put down a scallop box which is going to be used for my telemove calls. And then on Tuesday, I have two standing meetings that I have to do because one of them I usually have on Monday, but since Monday is Memorial's Day, then I'll be having that one on Tuesday also. I also need to renew some library books. I have some audio books out because I'm trying to read more these days and I'm doing a heck of a job on doing that. And then I need to make a call for Amvets to come and pick up some donated items which I've been saying I'm going to do and I just haven't done it and the bags of donation items are just starting to pile up which is kind of a good thing so that's something you should consider is donating some of your items that you no longer want but they're in good condition so also on Wednesday I put down a box for uh, errands that me and my mom have to do because we do our errands together and that kind of gives us some time together and we get a lot of stuff done at the same time and then I also put down a telemove scallop box as well and then I went ahead and I wrote in Thursday and Friday but I made a bit of a mistake on Thursday and I put the wrong date on there I don't know why I put three but it should have been the first but I just so happened to have like some little dots that I made with my Cricut and I was able to fix that and I'll also be going to the VA pantry on Thursday and I put down my telemove. So if you haven't been watching this is like my on-the-go planner and I always just put in here just the things that I need to know while I'm out. So other things go in other plans that I have. So I put down my telemove stickers 
And now I'm looking for the weekend sticker that I'm going to use, and I'm getting that from the Mambies Me and My Big Ideas sticker book, and it just says, I love the weekend, and the colors were just perfect for this layout. So even though it was a lot of colors, it just kind of worked because it worked with the washi. Yay! I love washi. And so on Saturday, I'm going to be going to the farmer's market. I put down the Telemove stickers for Saturday and Sunday. And then on Sunday, I am going to be going to the movies, and then I have this Plan With Me sticker because I want to try to get my Plan With Me out earlier. And so I'll be doing week 23 on Sunday. Sunday. So I decided to pull out some stamps because I am loving the stamps now. You know, when I first started stamping, because I'm a baby stamper, I was kind of afraid of the ink. And now I'm really starting to embrace it. And it doesn't bother me if I get ink all over the place or the stamping comes out a little bit crooked. I just kind of chalk it up to the creative process and I am just really enjoying the stamps. So I put the, the stamp that I use actually came from a Recollections um, pack that I had and it's just a telephone. So once I got done with that, I want to go ahead and put everything back into the planner. And then what I'm actually going to do is kind of go back through everything just to make sure I didn't forget anything. Because, you know, there's nothing worse than being out someplace and you're looking in your planner for something and you've forgotten an item. So that's why it's really good to kind of do some pre-planning and do that planning at the beginning of the week and just add things in during the week and that really works out for me and I think it might work out for you too and so again I'm just going through everything and these note pages they have just been uh, they're like my life because I can just write things down I write notes and I can move them in and out throw them away if I need to and all that good stuff I just love those note pages so if you are enjoying these videos, these plan with me's, please make sure you give them a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please make sure you subscribe and hit the notification button so that you'll be notified when more videos just like this one come out. So with that, I'm going to say love, peace, and hair grease from your sweet lotus blossom and lovable Lizzie. Have a fantabulous day and enjoy life.